Hi everyone, it's me again. This video is all about something that most Logic users are getting absolutely wrong from the ground up. And I would like to show it to you guys. It's all about the stacks, the stacks mode and everything that it involves. As you can see, I'm using here in my template two types of stacks. First of all, well, the track stacks for my patches, but also folder stacks. What is the big difference? Well, the only thing that people uh, get to see in first instance is that on the, a summing stack, you can add some plugins and you can add, you can play um, all the instruments at once, which is great. You can have you know, a few layers, play them all together, and uh, that, that creates a, a bunch of instruments. That's cool. Of course, that's cool. But what is the use of a folder stack? Well, it's completely different. And as you can see here in my template, I have both, and I'm using the folder stacks for my instruments, my recorded tracks, my mixing buses, and everything. There is a reason for that, and I would like to show it to you guys. I'm going to create a bunch of synths, and um, I will just, if you don't mind, uh, I will just uh, cut the audio out because it's absolutely pointless to have uh, these uh, sound generators playing all at once. It's going to create a lot of noise. So let's say here... Um, uh, where is uh, Logic? No, it wasn't here. Utility. Test oscillator. So, you see there is a signal. Of course, it's not playing because... Oh, okay, it's not. And now you can see the signal. Okay, cool. You probably get it. Uh, it's a bit too loud now. Here. So, this is... Track number one, I have another one, another one, another one, another one, and they all add up to this synths bus that's bust. Well, that's a return, an external return. So it's not a track stack. But you see on my folder, there is no nothing here. Now watch this in the mixer. When I adjust the level of this, look at the, le at the separate levels of each in every single track. This is the exact opposite of what a summing stack is doing, actually. And this is what most users I've come across are getting completely wrong. And this is why it's useful. Actually, the folder stack creates a VCA fader connected to all the separate channels here. Here, those. And that, my friends, means that you can control them all at once with a single fader. So let's say you have um, a full arrangement and you put a folder stack together of your full arrangement and you can, without any, uh, without touching your, uh, without touching any of your faders when done mixing, well, when done doing, you know, the, the leveling and everything, you can just adjust the level of the whole thing so that it doesn't burn, it doesn't get too hot here into your mixing buses. That's the use of a folder stack. And this is what people are getting wrong most of the time. So I wanted to show that to you guys. Uh, I hope you understand this concept now of a folder stack because most people I've come across don't get it at all. And um, that's it for today, actually. If you have uh, any questions or comments, please leave them, uh, uh, well, in the, in the comments below. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this video, hit the subscribe and the bell buttons eventually. And uh, see you in the next time. Same place.